Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd and welcome to Mech Engineer, a game about giant robot shooting bugs, in which you don't get to drive a big robot or shoot any bugs. Because you're not a mech pilot. Oh no, the clue's in the name. You're a mech engineer. Your job is to sit there in the hangar, optimizing the reactor output, damn it, and... Uh, Oh, I am so down for that. Like, I love any game where I get to do, you know, the geeky technical back-end stuff. Okay, the year is 2199, and aliens have invaded Earth, as aliens tend to do. And this is one of those invasions where, you know, the aliens have already kind of won, to be honest. Like, you know, humanity's basically been destroyed, we only survive in tiny scattered groups, etc, etc. My tiny scattered group, however, is in a giant walking city on legs, which I'd say is pretty damn cool. But oh no, the aliens have found us, they're approaching the city, we better hop in our mechs and shoot them, and no, 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 first we need to like, build the mechs, to the engineering departments. Okay, grab a mech off the shelf, I plug it into my workshop, and uh, there we go, this here is a mech, or rather it's an exoskeleton that theoretically could become a mech, if I was to like, you know, uh, engineer it properly and whatnot. So, uh, basically, yes, there's a lot of cocking empty slots that we need to put together on this thing. Some of them are, are pretty bloody simple. Like, say, for example, we need a cockpit so someone can be in the mech. Grab one of them and the gamer highlights where that would be plugged in. There we go, there's now a cockpit. Nice and bloody simple, but, um, yes. The reason I quite like this game immediately is uh, it's not just a case of uh, buying parts and then putting them on. Oh no, 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 no. Let you know, just go over to the uh, reactor, say. You can't just take a reactor and then just plug it into your mech. It needs to be assembled, ignited, optimized, all the rest of it, damn it. So, okay, Mr. Reactor, how about we, like, you know, just drag you down here to the workstation? And now we've got to construct this too. So yes, like, you know, even though there are many components in the mech, some of those components are themselves made up of many components. So, right, first things first, we've got to put on a piston or something. So, right, there's a bunch of basic ones and one that's a tiny bit better. So, you know, I could do what I want here. Magnificent. What does this actually do, by the way? It makes that number go up. I don't know why that number's good, but I'm going to assume big number means good. I'm not necessarily like a good engineer or anything. I never promised that. So, oh, here we go. Another thing that's got a bigger number against it. And this one's red as well. Red's got to be better. Max temperature goes down, but the energy output goes okay. So if I put this one on, this one's going to, like, you know, make my robot much more powerful, but also more prone to overheating. So uh, given, yes, this robot might overheat or whatnot, I'm going to go over to, yeah, the auxiliary stuff and plug in, lovely, a heat-reducing McJibble. So, okay, there we go. Cooling power goes up, shove some more of those in, better and better. Is there any reason not to, like, you know, fill these up? Does it increase the cost? I have a no cocky clue. Like, I'm still figuring this out. This game is very complicated. And now we just ignite you, beautiful. Start spinning up. We just run, you know, the nice test right there. Check it doesn't immediately explode or something. And okay, it's actually running very cool indeed because of all the extra cooling I plugged on. Lovely. Right, now that's been, you know, set up correctly, we can put that into the robot. Brilliant. So now it's got a certain amount of energy available, but it's now also way, way, way overweight. So, okay. I think we've only got, you know, basic motors right now. So just plug on a four of them. So, you know, the robot can support a bit more weight and whatnot. Okay, spare weight, spare energy. The robot will now not immediately fall over and collapse. That's really good news. And this is where things get uh, very, very sexy indeed. Because this is when we attach the cocky guns. Or rather, we don't. We take them into our weapon engineering bay. Where we can literally see it being tested live against a target of my choosing, which I could set to, you know, be either static or be multiple layers, etc, etc, be very, very thick and tanky, be moving around, just, oh, this I could flip it deal with right here. 
And yes, the guns can be, you know, hugely customised. We can say, make them fire faster or slower, reduce their weight if we want to be carrying, you know, lots of heavy guns around. Accuracy, that seems kind of good, so, uh, oh yeah, that, you know, immediately makes a huge, huge impact. We're really hitting our targets very reliably in that case. Marvellous, alternatively. Yeah, just put up the rate of uh, fire to maximum, and we are just uh, spraying uh, like crazy. Not as armor. Yes, and it just also turned down shooting accuracy. So, right, now we are literally just randomly firing in the vague compass direction of the enemy and hoping it works out. And then finally, damage and armor penetration. So, uh, yeah, she needs to, like, you know, uh, figure out what you're going to be doing to balance your weapons uh, or make specialized robots designed to do particular things. And uh, that's not all we could do either. Because you can also apply one mod uh, to specialize the weapon, adding a special effect. So, we can make the projectile be accelerated, albeit at a cost of, uh, yes, energy and weight. So, just uh, plug that on and bloody hell, I love it. Alternatively, yes, hang on, penetration. So we can start, you know, breaking through armor and whatnot, marvelous. Then create many shots, less rate of fire and accuracy, adds weight. Oh, that's just a giant automatic shotgun, isn't it? And creates fire on a hit. Okay, game, me and you, we're speaking the same language here. Like, you know, these are literally baby's first mechs I'm putting together right now. And I can immediately set up a giant rapid-fire flame cannon. I love it. And of course, the nice thing about shotguns is uh, you don't really need to worry about, you know, uh, the whole accuracy thing. Because that's not what a shotgun's for, okay? There's going to be 10 million aliens. Uh, we're going to hit something if we just fire with my giant automatic shotgun. Okay, so we've set that. So now I just pull in a second one and using a, you know, a nicer save and load feature... I can immediately set a second gun to be precisely the same. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can also increase... Ooh. Ammunition. Start plugging that on. I assume this is getting... It's getting heavier. So what's happening here? Not sure we're adding weight. I'm not sure what the disadvantage of just plugging more and more ammunition onto this thing is. Okay, so this platform is basically just two automatic shotguns and all the ammunition in the world. Yes. Basically, yes. So, uh, right, once you're happy with that, deploy the mech, and he's going to be ready to go. Okay, next up, here comes Mr. Marshmallow. And with a name like that, I feel like it would be highly inappropriate to give this guy anything but, you know, uh, the giant flaming explosion cannon. Okay, but it does turn out those are apparently a tiny bit heavier, so that's fine. We can fix that. Just take, you know, one of these, uh, then just take, you know, one point out of a rate of fire and put it instead uh, into weight. There we go. That should now be just able to be carried. We've also got missile launchers, but yeah, the problem we've got here is uh, this thing is way, way, way heavier, actually. So okay, basically just give him a secondary gun that is overwhelmingly focused on being as light as possible. It's not very good, but like, you know, it'll do the job against basic enemies, I suppose. Which means we've got enough capacity to, yes, have a rocket launcher, I can even add a tiny bit more weight onto it yet. Only three, mind, but you know, it's better than nothing. And oh yeah, oh flippin' yeah, that looks pretty fun actually. Not least as if I just put everything into, you know, a rate of fire. Bloody hell, that's a lot of rockets. So, okay, we said we could have, like, you know, a extra weight and whatnot. So, take two out of a weight right there. There's also accuracy. Though, honestly, it feels pretty bloody accurate already. And instead, increase damage. Oh, now this is gonna be good. Okay, Mr. Kaboom, you are also cleared for duty. Luckily, the game does give you a handful of mechs to start off with too, but honestly, you know, they're not as good as mine, so it's fine. So, uh, right, now we've officially, you know, optimised the weight distribution in our robots, are we ready to go and shoot some bugs? No, obviously not, because who's cocky piloting the robots? To the HR department! Here we go, some lovely humans who can pilot our mechs for us. But, um, yes, some of them are better at it than others. So, uh, just arrange my humans by reaction speed, which is kind of like, you know, accuracy. And okay, we've got some decent experienced pilots to kick us off here. Though, these guys are going to get tired, you won't be able to take them out every mission. 
Jennifer, you are healthy, you've got good reaction speed, you can deal with stress, which is good, because I'm your cooking engineer, so you're going to need to be okay. What are we going to do with you? Because yes, we can actually give you a perk. Oh, this will cocky do. Reload speed over every mech on the field, increased by 25% if this pilot's the commander, because we're going to be giving these people jobs too, so... Yes, Jennifer, you get to be our first commander. And because you're the commander, you get to go and, you know, the best drone, Mr. Shotgun. And as for you, Mr. Freeze, you can have a giant pile of accuracy. Good, because you're pretty bloody good at your job too. And you can pilot the Marshmallow. Okay, other competent individuals plugged into other mechs. I've also gone and filled out the health and safety forms. Is it now time to go and shoot some bugs? Yes, actually, surprisingly it is. So, Santa Jennifer as our commander with the crown there, sending our other fellows to a lovely, lovely, lovely. And finally, we get to hit the do a fight button. Marvelous. And uh, as I say, I am an engineer. I could give uh, vague instructions and whatnot, but you know what? Uh, it's not really my bloody job to tell these guys what to do. When they're on the field, it's kind of up to them. So yes, I can right-click to tell them to go to a particular location if I'm worried about them, or just double-left-click to say, hey, get them with your primary objective, which on this occasion is uh, taking out that giant worm over there that's going to be spitting out bugs at us, etc, etc. But, um, yes, you know, they're going to be picking their own targets, panicking, running away screaming, etc, etc. So basically, we're just going to, you know, let them get on with it. But I'm just looking forward to, oh, yeah. Oh, flippin' yeah. Oh, flippin' yeah. That'll flippin' do the job. The worm is being pushed back. Damn it. The worm is being pushed back. Screw you. Okay, there's, um, there's more worms. Uh, and also many, many, many aliens. But because this is like, you know, uh, the tutorial and whatnot, we do have turrets to back us up. Because, like, you know, we're right outside the walking city. So, uh, you know what? This seems to be going very, very well indeed. And I do just love, you know, the visual style of just from above in black and white. You can't really see what's going on. But, you know, you get the impression stuff is going... I was about to say, well. I feel like, you know, we're just about holding on in various ways. Like, are you guys okay? I mean, reactor temperature looks good. Everyone's got all oxygen. I didn't actually, like, you know, set oxygen or anything. Was I supposed to set oxygen tanks on these things? Oh, this will flip it do. We seem to have, you know, taken out a wave of uh, these little bugs. and more coming in. And, uh, yeah, basically, for what? So I can just say, hey, just, you know, move her forward a bit. Let's push up. But honestly, you know, on this particular occasion, because we're just supposed to be playing defensively and whatnot, you know, just sticking nearby to the turret strikes me as a good idea. So yeah, double click left, and they'll just basically make their own way to the primary objective. And there we go, nice and simple. Baby's first tutorial is complete. So, you know, four competent mechs can just mow down a very large number of spiders. No problem whatsoever. And now, broadly, my mission is to, yes, as the game says, uh, find cities, discover clues, do something to sort out, you know, uh, the issues with this whole alien invasion thing. Well, probably staying away from, uh, yes, the giant red sword uh, that's like a giant or something. And I assume the yellow sword is going to be like, you know, uh, the epicenter of the alien invasion. I'm not sure, but like, you know, it kind of feels like it to me. At the same time, to keep my robot, you know, fixed up and whatnot, I'm going to need resources. So we need to, you know, go out into various missions, dart it around where my base currently is, uh, and get the relevant resources that we need. And as for cities, yeah, nearest one appears to be located to the east. So how do I move my city? I'm assuming there we go. That seems... Okay, that's an angry noise. Does that mean you need me to, like, clear out this area before I go? I'm going to assume that's what that means. Hang on. Uh -huh, hang on. Before I assume that, yes, this game is, um, complicated. Sufficiently so, it comes with a built-in instruction manual. And even with that manual, I'm not 100% sure. But it feels like, you know, clearing out the enemies in the way between me and where I want to go. That can't hurt, right? Okay, Good news and bad news. The bad news is, the game's now saying these mechs need maintenance. 
and I can't figure out how to do that, despite the fact I've read the entire instruction manual from start to finish, because uh, the UI tutorial, they are not very good. Let's just say that, and I'm being generous. But um, on the plus side, uh, I figured out how to paint the robot, so that's nice. And in other news, yes, I found, like, the wiring plan for the mech. And also how to add, you know, armor, melee, energy shielding, etc, etc. But blimey, that's a bit expensive on the old energy. Right, I need to, like, you know, research more reactors before we could do that. Gotcha. I mean, I could research that. Or alternatively, I could research a tank gun. Obviously, we're doing tank gun, yes. Okay, I'm going to deploy Marshmallow and Mr. Shotgun, leaving a Mr. Kaboom and Storm in maintenance to see if that, like, you know, does something good, or alternatively, if something bad happens by taking out a robot that's supposed to be in maintenance. Also, most of my pilots need a rest, so we're now using terrible pilots, so okay, this could go wrong, potentially. Oh, I literally can't take a robot in maintenance out, so right, one mission per day, gotcha. Right, well in that case, bring on tomorrow. And then like, you know, a whole bunch of stats do things. I don't know what most of that means, but like, you know, my Bjorn's down. That's possibly good, no idea. Okay, my robots are back off maintenance, and yes, my good pilots are feeling much, much better about life. Lovely. Okay, now we can do the cave system, though I'm um, right, it's not just basic spiders. There's also uh, something big, uh, with 800 health, that's gonna try and ram me. Gotcha. So, good luck lads, have fun! So okay, unlike last time, yes, yeah, so we don't have turrets to back us up, and we also don't have that much open space. It's a cave system, meaning, uh, you know, literally, you're in a cave. You've just got to walk through the cave till you make it to the end, so... Uh, Alright, good luck, I guess. For the time being, we'll just give them a standard orders here. They are just a firing. The bugs are attempting to... Oh, hang on, that is true. The flaming lads are going to be really good here, actually, because, uh, yeah, they're going to be, um, you know, laying fire down in a fairly narrow areas. And, oh, blimey, that's... Oh, that's really narrow. That's really cocky narrow. Okay, there's a really, really, really cocky narrow. Guys, I want you to all regroup. For a second, I want everybody to regroup. Regroup. Do not. Do not. Okay. Sometimes they panic. Then they might get surrounded. So, okay. Now they are surrounded. Everyone's surrounded. But that's fine. Like, these are good people. They're doing a good job. They're all together. I'm just going to let them, like, you know, wipe out this wave. And then we'll get them moving again. It's all going to be fine. And, uh, yeah, by the looks of it, they need to actually, you know... Go and pick up actual materials or we don't get to keep it. So, okay, I feel like possibly the aliens are just going to keep coming forever, actually. But you know what? If we go this way, okay, everyone, go this way, please. We can avoid the narrow areas simply by, you know, going... Does anyone know what happened to Ellen? Because I can't help but notice there's now only, um, three max. There weren't three mechs a minute ago. Like, we had four. Oh, I shouldn't be in charge of these missions because I've no idea what just happened to Ellen. But she's, um... She's kind of missing. I mean, it says affirmative on her screen. Maybe she just retreated. I'm sure it's all fine. Okay, guys, uh, you just need to push. I feel like you can't just wait out the enemy. If you're all going together, you're going to be fine. Probably. Just make you push, and I'm pretty sure the game said there are, um, five enemy bases in here. And, um, we haven't done one yet, so, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guys, guys, I feel like they're... I feel like we shouldn't have gone into the cave. Because, right, so what I did was I spent a huge amount of resources and engineering expertise uh, on building uh, four mechs, and they got destroyed because I tossed them into an incredibly narrow cave uh, without knowing what I was doing. And I feel like I shouldn't have gone into a cave. That might have been a mistake. Oh, not least as yes, yeah, so what I was supposed to be doing this entire time was, um, yes, uh, finding cities in order to locate clues. And it turns out there's a city right here in, like, 
I don't know, Switzerland or something. So, um, we could have just gone there. That might have been a better idea. Yes, also, okay, hang on. I've now only got two max. And four just wasn't enough. So, uh, okay, we should, like, buy new max. Can we do that? Yes, but does that mean eight days till it's done? It 100% does. The max aren't arriving until a week on Wednesday. Oh, that's not good news. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. If I take a week off to let my new mechs arrive, is that really going to doom a humanity more than it's already been doomed? I don't think so. Okay, so just to confirm, while I took a week off and did nothing, um, the alien plague appears to have uh, spread a bit. Also, a gigantic world-consuming hurricane appears to be coming this way. Right, that's probably not good. Also, I just realised it didn't order any more reactors. So I've got enough to power one of the two mechs I ordered, uh, but not both, so... Right, we're down to three, but that's better than two. And you know what? I know precisely what we're gonna do with our brand new mech. Instead of, you know, giant piles of ammunition, we're gonna give you giant piles of energy. Ooh, and a tank gun! Don't forget we researched the tank gun, that does sound fun! Here we go, a frog is armed with, a, yes, a huge pile of a high explosive damage. And thanks to all the extra batteries we've just plugged on, activate energy shield, which we can still afford. So, okay, he's got a protective shield around him. And given you're going to be the tank, if I just free up a tiny bit more weight, melee defense. Because, yes, most of the enemies in this game are going to be running up to you. Melee defense is going to be huge. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with a nice gentle stroll to France. Okay, France is a nice open plains, I believe. Yep, nice open plains, so you know we're not trapped in tunnels with monsters or anything. And there's literally nothing in it but basic spiders. Okay, we could deal with this, probably. Not least as we've got some new pilots are fresh out of the medical facilities. They were a bit wounded when we started, so... Uh, Okay, I don't care how busy you are, get in the cooking mech! Okay, open plain, a handful of trees, uh, some hills that may block bullets or line of sight, looks to me like, yes, those would be our targets. Oh. Oh, never mind, our target will be the really, really big thing down here, gotcha. Okay, Godspeed, good luck, have fun! And straight away, huge, overwhelming amounts of uh, fire. Marvellous. So, uh, yes, at this point, we're, like, you know, uh, heavily dependent on a very, very large amount of, uh, yes, like, rocket, anti-tank fire, etc., etc., which would be uh, highly effective against, you know, uh, small, heavily armoured targets, but arguably much less good against, you know, uh, a huge wave of uh, weak targets, where, you know, uh, the anti-tank guns aren't really going to do much, but... I mean, bare minimum, I think we just killed something like, you know, over here, so that's good. Uh, okay, guys, uh, I'm just going to tell them to, you know, default to their mission. They'll presumably go towards the primary target. I assume right now, yes, they're taking out, you know, uh, spawners, uh, the big old wormy things uh, and whatnot. So just take out all of them. Good, uh, good, good, good. Well done, team, etc., etc. In fact, you know what? They're approaching the target right now. There we go. Big old target. Guys, I, I'd, I'd stay back. I don't know what that is, but like, keep your distance. Okay, keep your distance. And what's it doing? Is it? Is it doing bad things to me? Okay, like, start firing on it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, it, it's definitely doing something bad. Guys, just like, move around it while firing. You're definitely being fired upon right now. But like... Hopefully you'll get the job done. Like, you know, use those anti-tank cannons I gave you. And there we go. It just died. Was that the mission? I'm not 100% sure what, like, you know, the mission was. Also, yes, just like, you know, pick up the stuff. Are your mechs okay? Oh, some of them are slightly overheating. Oh, some of them are really overheating. I may not have put these, you know, mechs together particularly well, actually. You know what? We won. Nobody's dead. I'm going to call this a huge win, or at least bare minimum, a good step forwards. Now, the robots need maintenance, and you need a rest, and also apparently we need to do... Oh. Okay, they actually took some real hits, so as a result, yes, they actually need proper repairs and whatnot. Okay, that's why we need to be gathering resources. Gotcha.
Okay, everybody take the rest of the day off for maintenance. Good job, team. And having cleared out France, that's where our city's gone. So, right, we have now walked over the channel to France. Marvellous. Which may or may not be good for... Oh. I feel like this city was... Oh, bloody hell. Eight Ness and two Brucuses. Does anyone know what a Brucus is? Well, I guess we're about to find out, but... Oh, dear. I mean, it's not strictly a cave, but it looks a lot like that cave that killed, you know, everybody. Okay, team, move on in. Let's see what you could do. Just take out the little guys, take out the worms. Okay, don't separate. No, don't separate. Don't separate. Bloody hell, we've already... Okay, this is, um, this is not going well. Back off. Back the cock off. Who's already almost dead? I think someone might be in armor. Um, a bit of trouble also. What's that? Why is there a... I don't know what's going on anymore. There's either there's a really dangerous thing or something's not been found in the game's files. That looks like a missing texture file to me, but Flip only knows quite frankly. Okay, we can hold back here, but they're just going to keep spawning forever, aren't they? Yeah, I feel like we've got to try and push forward. So, okay, guys, uh, commence main mission. Just to begin moving towards your primary objectives. Uh, take out... Oh dear, there's nastier bugs. Like, oh blimey, they've immediately been... No, 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 this is, this is bad, this is bad, this is... Go the other way. Go this way, the long way round. Grab some materials. Also, hang on, there's uh, mysterious things. I don't know what you are precisely, but like, you know, you're around. You may or may not be uh, good. I don't... Oh, oh dear, I feel like I definitely shouldn't have... Okay, I feel like, hang on, is everyone okay? Everyone's not dead, which is nice. Uh, ha, 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 this is. John, go to the spawners. Take the spawners out one by one. We might be able to take out, yes, this spawner, these two, in fact, right now. Go up here, take them out. That's going to slow down the rate of enemy reinforcements. Or alternatively, leave us completely surrounded because we were still being surrounded from the south. But like, you know, now more pokes were coming in from the north. So, okay. We have taken out some enemy spawners, uh, but we've also lost a mech. Who's dead? Oh, it's Gregory. He was my best pilot. And also... What just exploded and why did it explode? I don't know, but something exploded. Fascinating. Also, oh dear, Barbara's also dead. We'd have to just bob at this point. I feel like Bob was, yes, just in, like, you know, a, a baby's default mech. And... No, seriously, why did Barbara explode? And also, hang on, can we go and get Barbara back? Go and pick up Barbara if you can. Like, I think that might be Barbara down there. Like, go and get her, if at all possible. We got Barbara. There we go. We're now pulling Barbara out of, you know, uh, this situation, though. Uh, that means I'm down to one arm. How do I abandon Barbara? Also, if I make it to that turret, can that turret maybe be on, like, you know, my side? And here we go. Yes! Okay, I've now got turret, friends. That's really good news. I say that's really good news. I feel like the turret's being completely swarmed, and so am I. Okay, Bob and... Okay, Bob exploded too. Sorry, Barbara. So, basically, I'm now out of a, yes, usable mechs and competent pilots... And I'm basically just down the road uh, from where I spawned. And, uh, okay, yeah. Basically, I feel like, you know, uh, that sums up Mech Engineer really nicely. This game is uh, viciously difficult and incredibly complicated. Though, uh, I will say, part of the complication just comes from the fact that, you know, uh, the UI is uh, very, very not good. Like, I guess maybe that's kind of the point. You're supposed to, you know, uh, figure this out as you go, but... It definitely feels in a way like the game's almost trying to trip you up as you go. Still, bare minimum, it's different, it's interesting, it's unlike anything else I've played so far this year, and uh, you know what? Some days, uh, that's good enough for me. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this off here. Maybe I'll keep half an eye on it, though, because, uh, you know, if this gets a bit of polish, a much better tutorial, a bit of, you know, smoothing out of the old UI, I could be tempted to maybe come back to this in future. We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Mech Engineer. Thank you very much, and goodbye.
I'm going to be honest, if it's Glasgow on a Saturday night, there's large amounts of violence and screaming and chaos. That's just normal. That's not actually the alien, sorry. But on the other hand, I have a giant flamethrower robot. Would you not like to potentially let me at least try that before pulling the funding and power? No! Okay. 